guys, welcome back to episode three on the podcast. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. This episode is for you stoners out there. Before we get into it, we got a little gift baggie here with some with some treats. Let's see what we got today. I got uh, never had before a little mango pineapple by MXG. Ten milligrams of uh, THC drink. So we're gonna have one of those. That's how they kind of they always got the uh, child safety protection on them all, all times. Whatever. This isn't uh, a sponsor for the show. This is just to show that these are all legally bought from the uh, dispensary. I also have here four pineapple edible gummies, 25 milligrams uh, per for each. So that's about 100, 100 milligrams in there. We'll get into that. Eat those. And uh, my favorite. What I'm most looking forward to here is a little disposable uh, Rye FF uh, disposable uh, vape pen here. It's uh, 82% THC, 5, per, uh, five milligrams of CBD. It's a Gene Guy cross with Super Lemon Haze. So you got to kind of prop those little tabs in together and pop it open. This is uh, a little disposable pen. I haven't gotten a reusable one yet but they come in there and you know this is my second one i've had now and they're quite uh i like them a lot you probably get like maybe like a hundred pops or so there's little windows on either side of it which is hard to see to see that if there's some left in there etc and uh they're good to go you just inhale it and send it so a little couple little treats throughout the show Today, I'm super looking forward to this, uh, these edible gummies. Let's just pop them all. I think that's about 100 milligrams for them. Child safety. They're, oh my god, they're big. They're ginormous. I wasn't expecting them to be this big. Here they go. Little pineapple gummies. They're like half a circle. Man. That's hard to, uh. <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought. While we're doing that, let's pop it up in our drink for the show. Mango pineapple, 10 milligrams. It's not that much, but it's the highest one there is. There's like 2 milligrams. Um, there's all different kinds of flavors and shit. Like uh, sweet tea, stuff like that. Uh, just opens like so. The gummies, by the way, super good. Uh, they don't taste like anything. They just taste like uh, like a gummy, pineapple gummy. A little mangoey. <clears throat> let's uh, let's try this. Let's see how this goes down. Oh yeah, that's interesting. It literally tastes just like an orange Fanta or something like that, but you can it tastes like an edible gummy. Like you can taste like the THC in it. It's like a liquid version of an edible gummy. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, those aren't gonna kick in till probably after the show, anyways. Um, once we get towards the end, I'll eat the other ones. Let's try this. I want to taste this. This is the super lemon haze, I believe, and uh, yeah. That's cool. The bottom. It's purple. The last one I had went green. So that's pretty cool. Just got to get prepared for this episode. You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys are with me. Hopefully we don't get too zooted so I can actually go on with my show. Holy crap, that went to the dome. Let's get these other candies in. And start. Mm. All right, guys. So, this episode is going to be the highest I've ever been. And, uh, man, we got a lot of stories just to even get there. So, let's start. I'm pretty sure that everybody 
has related to the moment of, you know, the typical milk in the cupboard, the cereal in the fridge type thing. I think that's pretty basic. Can't be the only one who's done that. <clears throat> Started smoking weed when uh, a good buddy of mine moved from the Yukon to, uh, to Calgary. Junior high, I was about 13 years old and uh, didn't smoke weed at that time, just was doing lacrosse, uh, sports, doing my own thing. I was kind of an innocent kid, but uh, hey man, that guy's still a really good friend of mine to this day. Started smoking weed with him at 13 and uh, a few stories throughout the years. I have, I kind of have like three green outs, three green out stories, um, which still aren't the highest I've ever been, but uh, it's just, uh, it's just the young, low, low tolerance days, maybe a few party stories. The first one was uh, around the world. Have you guys ever played that? I had about four of my friends. We sat, sat in a circle on some lawn chairs out in the backyard. And around the world is a game where you smoke a joint. When you take a haul off it, you pass it to the next person and you got to hold it in until it goes around and comes back to you. So yeah. Uh, me being, uh, you know, that's, that's, that game gets you lit, dude. Gets you lit. I definitely uh, puked in the alley at the end of that game. Just, you know, just super, way too much. Just way too high, overwhelmed, you know what I mean? Built up. Zero tolerance. Playing a quick game of Around the World. That's got to bring up some nostalgia. I know a lot of people played that before. So, uh, and another relatable story. Uh, it's actually more recently probably in the last like three probably like three four years uh smoking some hash at uh, buddy's place and all of these except for the first one basically have like already had some beers deep already kind of lit you know when you when you're kind of faded and you start getting really high like smoking a lot of weed intensely or you know for hash for once um It's, uh, it really intensifies that and it gets you totally cross-faded and almost like a nauseous sickness. Gives you maybe sometimes the spins. <laughs> so that was another chundi in the alley uh, moment. Now, one of my it, most embarrassing, to end up the green out stories here, would be uh, the party. The party one. I was at a party with, with so, so many friends that we had uh, back in the day. It was good times, man good times junior high <laughs> maybe it was maybe it was high school beginning of high school maybe actually i think it might have been around grade 10 um partying a lot you know i never really had such a high tolerance because i never really smoked weed a lot like i wasn't always a huge stoner i always just send beers i love beers but i like to get high for sure like all throughout high school wake and bacon with the boys you know a lot you know and i still do obviously to this day but um Party, oh dude. Anyways, having such a low tolerance. That one night we were uh, hanging out in Buddy's kitchen. There's a party going on. Lots of girls, lots of guys. Just maybe around twenty people, just in the kitchen room right now. A huge bar. Sitting there, we kind of always just chilled out there, listen to music, drink, smoke. So it's it's around the end of the night, and I've been smoking all night long. We've just been going and going and going. And my ex-girlfriend at this time, she even knows, she's like, dude, you're, like, how are you smoking so much? Like, why are you smoking so much? You're gonna get fucked. I'm like, like no, I'm good. I think, I think I'm good. <laughs> and I was just so high. I was literally faded, cross-faded, and high, literally exactly at that point of Okul, how he felt and his mindset and litness on the first episode of the podcast uh, in Mexico there. Just kind of sitting at the table, eyes closed, super nauseous, super sick. Yeah, I could just go to the washroom and throw up, but like, why am I feeling sick? Like, I can beat this, just like, it'll be all good. And then all of a sudden, you know, out of nowhere, you throw up. Throw up on the table, totally out of nowhere, just get, girls are screaming. Like, the boy's like, no, what the fuck? Like, literally, Chundi on the table, it's terrible, terrible. And then go to the washroom, and I think I threw up more, but... It's obviously, it's all good, like, they're boys, like, we fucking got cleaned up and moved on, and it's not a big deal, really. But, come on, that's definitely one of my bo most embarrassing green out stories, and that's okay to have that. And that's kind of why I was, I wasn't, I wasn't even uh, upset or mad 
when Okul got that like, cause come on, I think we've all been there one or another. If you've been high or drunk, just that lit and just, it just happens. It's the body is called like, it's just overdoing it uh, or just uh, full sending it. One of the two sent it. All right. That's a good drink, but you can definitely taste THC in there. Thank God. Uh, there is a 10 milligram one now. I don't, most of them used to be 2.5, so it wasn't even worth drinking, but they have quite a variety now. So 10 milligrams, I guess is worth the drink, but it's like 10 bucks Canadian. So it's kind of not worth it. All right. Well, those are all the greenhouse stories. Let's get into the highest I've ever been in my entire life. And that's when I've had the channel in the recent year, the 2000 milligrams of edibles of THC gummies and well we'll start off with that one and then after for the grand final we got the one gram dab and that one that one definitely did it so that nothing nothing beats that my lord anyways the 2000 milligrams of edibles I was just insanely faded I remember doing that video um we did the 400 milligrams of THC edibles uh so and it was one pack of 10 and each gummy is 40, so there was 100 in there. Or, sorry, 10 in there. Uh, I think there were I think there were 40. So, what we did um, to eat two th uh, 2,000 milligrams is I think I bought five bags, ate 50 gummies. Oh, my God. It took me a while to eat them, and it's so much sugar. But nonetheless, it's an edible video, right? So, I'm not thinking anything of it. Of course, I'm going to be pretty high and obliterated. But you gotta got to wait an hour or two for it to set in, at least. So, I figured I'd do an aftermath video. Come back, maybe it was around noon or 1 o'clock when I started. Come back around maybe 3.30 and do an aftermath. Wow. So, started to turn on the PS4, started playing uh, PlayStation with the boys. Oh, cool, and rest in space. And they say, oh my god. They're like, dude, you could barely even speak. We don't know how you stayed conscious, but you were saying the funniest shit. I'm like, dude, I don't even remember. Just completely faded, just out of it, dude. Just hit me, hit me hard. And it came an hour or two hours later, and I was still somehow awake and coherent. That I'm like, oh my god, dude, I have to film, I have to finish filming my video, an aftermath video. <laughs> Could you imagine eating all that, getting so high, and then forgetting the video? It's just you eating them, <laughs> and then just the end, just be like, yeah, I got way too high, I didn't film. That would have been terrible, dude. So, yeah, um, I filmed the aftermath. Uh, that video was on was an old video that we did, and Ben was I just so high, like the body high, um, just so blasted, so much going on. It was so hard to focus on the game. Um, I really don't remember, but they said it was hilarious. Kind of a blackout, a weed blackout. But guys, that still doesn't. Come, uh, bring me to the highest I've ever been and this challenge was just it was a bad idea right off the hop and it didn't go good and I and the high everything about it was just it was fucking intense way more intense than 2,000 milligrams of edibles because when I took that one gram dab I had it too hot I, it crackled it was just it was intense. It was just ridiculous. The amount, it was just it was way too much. I remember sending it, dude, and oh my god. My lungs immediately felt like they were collapsed. I couldn't, like, breathe out. I could, like, inhale, but I couldn't, like, exhale. It was, like, impossible. Like, I felt like my lungs were stuck together. So I suffered for, like, five minutes. And then uh, that was it for the video. But after... Dude, after you would not, dude, you would not fucking believe how I felt. It was a sativa, it was like Maui Wowie, so it was like an insane, insane head rush, head high, like attack of paranoia, dude. And I never get like, I never get like that. It was just way too much, so intense, my body was fucked. I remember sitting on the couch, I couldn't even play any games, I was watching TV, I was on a recliner, so I was in like kind of like a neutral position and just 
laying there. And then all of a sudden I just got, I was just so high. I was thinking about it. I was focusing in. My head was like throbbing. My heart was fucking racing like a thousand beats per second. And it feels like it's going faster, dude. I'm like, what? Dude, I'm freaking out. What is going on? Um, I was thinking of like getting swatted. Like, I was like, dude, just like, I just felt like unsafe and paranoid. Like someone was going to barge in and like do something or rob me or something like that. Not me, just like thinking of shit like that. And then all of a sudden, this is the part that fucking, this has never happened to me and freaked me out. All I remember is just thinking again how high I am and focusing on it. Then all of a sudden from like the top of my body, I felt this tingle go from the top all the way down my body through my arms like down and then I was thinking about it was so fucked it was like a wave it was like just total I couldn't explain it but it was it's like whatever I was thinking is by the time that it hits my feet like I was gonna fucking die or something I don't know so <laughs> it was going down and down and I was getting more freaked out as it was going down to my body and as soon as I got to like my feet I fucking jumped up dude I'm I was going like I was fucking freaked out <laughs> I've never been <laughs> that high dude that's that's some like fucked up shit i did not know i was freaking the fuck out i didn't know what was gonna happen but i got up i started pacing around like dude i am so fucking high and i remember thinking this is the highest i've ever been and it was ridiculous dude but no grinning out stories with those ones i mean full on uh you not not being nauseous or sick really this is just like you know i guess i have a tolerance to send that and fuck dude i was just so high just embracing all of it man oh man it's just a lot anyways we got one more story here it's not the highest i've been but it's definitely an experience to share it's the first time i ever took mushrooms and the only time which was uh, about a year ago I went on a Tinder date with this chick, and uh, we went to, I think it's like Crave Pub. Crave, it's like a craft brew house or something. They chop their own beer and brew it. Um, anyways, I went there, and uh, she had mushrooms. So I'm like, oh, I've never tried those before. She's like, we go into, uh, we go into the washroom together. It's like a one person, like handicapped washroom, and the stairs, dude, okay family family restroom whatever but there was the bar and then there's the stairs to go down and do this like the stairs go forever it seemed like they go fucking forever dude it's like at least maybe four stories <laughs> like four sets of stairs and it's not really that high but it seems like it goes that high it's probably probably not even it's probably only two but you go down and then it's just a separate area there's an elevator there's an atm there's like men's women's bathroom and then just like one separate bathroom we go in there and she pulls pulls it out all the <laughs> pulls out all the her mushrooms and she starts eating them and she's like here and i'm like how much do i eat like i've never done it before she's like just eat a shit ton i'm like i don't know how much a shit ton is so i got like a handful it's like a palm full and i was eating them i remember eating them they're just so dry dude they didn't like the taste doesn't really bug me i can remember it like it now but it's not the best. It's not good, dude. Some people, like, fucking gag and shit while eating them. They're not that bad. But there's lots of different ways. You can do, like, tea and a peanut butter jelly sandwich or some bullshit like that, dude. But, um... Anyways, I ate them. I just remember eating a lot of them. I'm like, okay. I'm just, like, eating, like, a lot of it and a lot of it and a lot of it. And like, she's like, eat more. I'm like, cool. So, anyways, we go back up the fucking 30-story, um, like, stairway. No, I think we took the elevator. <laughs> I'm like, yo, there's an elevator. I'm pretty sure we took the elevator for that because there's a fucking lot of stairs. It's really only like two. It's like two stories, like four sets of stairs, man. But um, we go up and then we, I, we go back up to the bar and I'm like not really thinking anything of it. I'm like, okay. So we have a few more drinks and uh, maybe like half an hour like goes by or like 45 minutes, I think. And uh, I just felt like, I just remember it started just me feeling like really like calm like my body was like super relaxed and i'm like wow i feel good and i'm just kind of enjoying it and i was what we were all obviously watching the game and stuff like that and there's lots of 
like lights around this kind of dim dimly set place i would say um and i just remember like feeling really 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 zen and then stuff kind of were kind of um it was just moving together like a starry night or something like that <laughs> It's just kind of winding and everything where like the, the walls and patterns were starting to move around and I noticed the lighting what it was changing um, not only like dimness and lightness it was more of like color it was like changing like different colors like blues and green I was like and she I remember looking over at me she's like do you uh, do you feel it like you, you feeling it I'm like yeah I think so like I feel pretty good I'm like yo you want to like just get out of here and go uh, back to my place and just chill dude go back home and obviously it's a tinder date so it's like to smash or whatever right but the next three four five hours dude just lay i just fucking turn on netflix we were both laying there just fucking naked watching i was just watching family guy and it was so fucking overwhelming and like i couldn't i couldn't comprehend what was going on it was almost freaking me out it's just family guy's hilarious it's just a lot a lot going on so there <laughs> So like four or five hours, so four or five hours passed, and uh, basically things happen, and she's like, "I thought you were never gonna ask. You were just like staring at the TV for five hours." Like, "Oh no, do that." I had a great trip. It wasn't over intense. I didn't really take that much. I didn't like have hallucinations really about a lot of things. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned for ten k, guys. Once we hit ten k, we're gonna eat a shit ton and do an episode on shrooms. So that would be lit. That's basically all the stories that I have, man. Um, but I really liked the mushrooms. They were cool. I was kind of closed-minded to it at the beginning. I didn't know what to expect. But mushrooms are great, guys. Um, but that's what a lot of people say for the first time, too. Uh, a lot of bad trips happen. So the second time around, I think, will be uh, interesting. I'll definitely make that a thing. Um, thank you, guys. We do have a submission this week. Uh, it's from Matt. He's got a personal uh, story for us. So let's see uh, what he's got to say and uh, tune in. Thanks, Matt. Let's see here. I remember uh, I was back in college. I was smoking with my best friend, um, Cam, and then my other friend, James and Ariel. And I got so high and we were walking back to the dorms. I was, it was me and Cameron walking back to the dorms. And basically, I <laughs> kept on telling them, hey, you want to know what the meaning of life was? But I could not compute what I was trying to say. I couldn't say what I wanted to say. I wanted to say it, but I just couldn't. Um, and it was a running gag for a while because <laughs> I just couldn't compete. He's like, hey, man, what is it? And I'm just like, I'll tell you in a second. And <laughs> just kept walking back to the dorms. So we get back to the dorms, basically, and then... I sit down in outside the convenience store that we have down there and then I eventually go in because we had a convenience store at the bottom of our dormitory. I go in there, he's buying items and I just walk out there and I just leave him in there. <laughs> I go up to my room, I mess with my roommate and he's like, and I to ask him, hey bro, want to know what the meaning of life is? Apparently, I just kept on asking that question, but I could never answer what it was until three months later where I told me, yeah, the meaning of life is, you know, you just keep on doing what you got to do. But the funny part was I just kept on <laughs> telling him, hey, bro, you know what the meaning of life is? Nah, bro. I don't know right now, but I'll tell you soon. <laughs> Andy, that's hilarious. That's so funny. A lot of the times that happens happens to me. <laughs> yeah, three three months later, yeah, I'll tell you when it comes back to me. That's awesome, dude. Thanks for your submission. I appreciate that. I like, uh, I really appreciate your guys' submission. So let's keep that segment going. Whatever um, the episode is going to be about, we will uh, post it on my Snapchat or Instagram. And we'll get some submissions of your guys' personal stories. If you guys have some stories you want to share, um, how has you been? Maybe some mushroom stories um, or even a topic that you'd like to see on a future episode. Make sure you guys comment it down below. Please like the video or the podcast, guys. I uh, appreciate it. I'm getting lots of good feedback, and it means a lot. So uh, thank you guys so much, and thank you for all our members. And uh, yeah, I 
think that's, uh, that's about it. So cheers and uh, stay faded. Until next time. Peace.